Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the Monte Carlo simulation in LT Spice. We will understand what is the Monte Carlo and why do we need uh, why we do we need Monte Carlo simulation for for your given circuit. Okay, so we will understand today. We will understand today this circuit Monte Carlo simulation in LT Spice, and we will understand what is the impact of the impact of the tolerances if you are going to do the monte carlo simulation how your circuit behaves uh, if you have got some tolerances in your in your components okay so let us let's get started here right so we will we will understand uh, this circuit okay the tolerances of the this circuit and we will also understand this a dot param dot step param and dot ac what is these commands and we will understand this on details right so you can see we will do the ac analysis of this circuit okay we will do the ac analysis of the, this circuit so this is the input you can see in and this is the output of the, this circuit that means at v1 you are giving some ac signals and you can see this this resistance is r1 so for now for this simulation the value of this resistance r1 is fixed so it's it's 140 ohm 141 ohm now you can see this is inductor which is defined as l2 and you can see here for inductor we have some tolerance i we have i have defined the mode mc stands for monte carlo so this is mc and the inductor value is 10 micro handy and it has given some tolerance so that is why it's written here tall i'll i'll explain how this tall works later right and you can see this c2 and it has also a monte carlo command the value of c2 is 1 nanofarad and you can see this this also has a tolerance some tolerance then likewise same l3 has some tolerance and the value is 40 micro henry c3 has some tolerance value is 250 picofarad and it has some tolerance like l1 here 10 micro henry and some tolerance and c1 here again one nano henry nano henry and some tolerance and r2 you can see the value of this resistance r1 and r2 is fixed and you can see this circuit is very identical you can see r1 l2 and c2 the value of r1 l2 and c2 and the value of l1 c1 and r2 is same okay maybe maybe you you will try to find out what is what is the application of this circuit so i will not explain the application of this circuit why because this is not in our scope we are just trying to understand today the monte carlo analysis or monte carlo simulation in alt spice right so you can see here this this is dot param command so dot param tolerances and you can see it is defined as 0 0.05 or you can see it's plus minus 5 percent component tolerance right you can see here the step parameter and this is x 0 2 1 and a dummy parameter to cycle monte carlo runs and since we are going to do the ac analysis so you can check it here this is given the ac analysis and this type of tool is octave number of point is 100 start frequency is 300 300k stop frequency is 10 megahertz right so this is for the running for the simulation okay so if you say here mc this is mc and you can see the value and the tolerance what is this basically it is a function that uses a random number generator okay so this this function uses the random number generators it generates the random numbers okay random number generators to return a value between well you can see well minus tolerance into well this means that this is this is the negative negative tolerance and this means this is the positive tolerance okay well plus tolerance into well this so this says the positive tolerance and this says the negative tolerance other function of interest is you can see here the x is defined x stands for flat x is 
a function that uses a random generator so this function uses this value this value which is generated by the random generator to return a value between minus x and x and what is the gauss x this a function that uses is random generator to return a value with a gaussian distribution and sigma x so hope guys you you have understood something about this circuit now without wasting any time i'm going to run the ac analysis simulation and i'm going to run the ac analysis and i will show you how this circuit works so here we go so you can go here and run the ac analysis click it on and you can see bingo okay so you can see the impact of your values you can see we have c2 l2 l3 c3 l1 and c1 it has they have defined some tolerances so you can see here this is the magnitude plot in db and this is the phase plot in degree so and you can see here your stop frequency is 300k and stop frequency is 10 megahertz so you can see since you have got some tolerances your curve is not a flat line not a single flat line it has varying if you see the value here something is upper threshold you can find and if you see at the same location you can find this is lower lower threshold so that is how your gain plot is varying if i zoom it out you can see you can see how much tolerances you got in your circuit at some for some point of time let us understand that six 40 kilohertz here you can see it's a, it's a minus 33.2 db and for the same point same frequency at 640 kilohertz you can see this line and this this is 35 so this is 32 db and this is around this is around 35 db that means it has around 2 db of deviation in in your gain plot so what is going to happen is because of the tolerances of your your components this is having 2 db of the tolerances at some point jump time and you, uh, if you want to look at the the phase plot you can also see here a bunch of a bunch of uh, there is a some difference if you talk about let us say at so here some point here you can see it's a degrees 325 and 3 3 348 that means it has around 24 degree differences so so guys here you can see this monte carlo is the best way to analyze your circuit to find out the impact of the tolerances in your circuit and what is the impacts of uh, of the components for for a given tolerances so this is best method in lt spice so you can use this tool and you can use this method to analyze your circuit uh, to analyze the, your circuit and how your circuit behaves for different range of the tolerances right so guys hope you understood uh, about something about the monte carlo and uh, simulation and hope i hope that you will be able to run your monte carlo simulation right and you will be able to analyze your circuit okay so if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video